Hey guys, welcome back to Mind State, where we help you reach your full potential. In today's video, we will be discussing the things you should avoid to look at to feel confident. Let's get to it. When you think of self-confidence, what comes to mind? Is it someone who works hard, stays true to their values, and knows how to take care of themselves? Someone who doesn't care what other people think about them? Someone who is constantly striving for growth and change? Or is it something else? Self-confidence is one of those intangible things that's hard to define, but you know it when you see it. It can be thought of as a feeling of trust in one's abilities, qualities, and judgment, and it impacts nearly every aspect of our lives, including how we feel about ourselves, how others see us, and how we perform in school and at work. Although a lack of self-confidence can be the result of debilitating social anxiety or other mental health conditions that influence one's self-perception, it's not always the case. You might not even realize that you have some subconscious habits that are actually destroying your confidence. Let's take a look at some of these tendencies and behaviors so you can learn to recognize them and get started on building healthy habits instead. Number 1. When you neglect your appearance, it's like saying, I don't care to yourself. You already know the importance of good hygiene, and you should take care of your health and appearance. And one of the most important things to be aware of is that when you neglect your appearance, you're essentially showing disrespect to yourself. Furthermore, if you don't feel good about how you look, then your self-esteem is going to take a hit, especially when it comes to social situations. It may seem like a superficial point, but properly caring for your appearance can really go a long way toward building your self-confidence. Number two, are you a perfectionist? Do you find yourself obsessing over every little flaw in your appearance? If so, you're not alone. Many women struggle with this issue, and it can be a major source of self-doubt. It's easy to get stuck on a single aspect of your appearance and magnify it in your mind until you can't see anything else. And this is toxic for confidence. Even if you think you're just being honest with yourself, viewing your flaws with hyper-focus can cause you to despise what you see. When this happens, your attention shifts from admiring all of the things you love about yourself to constantly scrutinizing everything you think is wrong. This ritual of self-criticism leaves you feeling sad, inadequate, and ashamed. Not the best atmosphere for a confident mindset. Instead of obsessing over minor flaws, Try putting that same energy into seeing the positive qualities in yourself. It may feel strange at first. After all, positivity is often hard won when cynicism has become a habit. But as with any new habit worth developing, like meditation or playing an instrument, daily practice will transform how you feel about yourself. Number 3. You know what they say, the only person you can change is yourself. And it's true. A lot of the time, we put so much effort into trying to improve other people and make them happy that we neglect ourselves. But if you want to be successful in life, it's important to take care of your own needs as well as those of others. So how do you do that? It all starts with talking about your perceived weaknesses. While self-deprecation is meant to show that you're a normal person who doesn't take yourself too seriously, it can, in some cases, come across as insecurity. Besides, if you constantly make negative comments about yourself, people will notice and either grow tired of hearing it or start thinking that maybe you're actually not as great as they thought. If you must discuss a weakness, for example, in a professional context like a job interview, frame it as an area for growth. It will show that while there are certain things you can improve on, there's also a willingness and desire to learn new skills and excel in more areas than just those that come naturally. Number four, there's a difference between over-complimenting others and building them up. If you are over-complimenting others, you are essentially telling them how much better they are than you. When we do this often enough, we start to believe this narrative, which then leads us to demeaning ourselves and not appreciating our own gifts and talents. Instead of repeating this cycle, take the time to appreciate your own gifts and talents. Remember that everyone has different strengths and weaknesses. In fact, if we are all alike, then none of us would stand out in the crowd. Each one of us has something special that makes us unique, so don't forget about your positive traits. Number 5. Negative self-talk is a common phenomenon experienced by most people. It can be tempting to believe the negative things we tell ourselves about ourselves, 
And over time, this type of thinking only lowers your self-esteem and confidence, making it harder to believe in yourself and achieve your goals. What can you do? While positive affirmations can help undo some of these thought patterns, even more helpful is learning how not to take your negative self-talk too seriously in the first place. It will allow for a more objective perspective on life, leading you down a path toward greater happiness overall, and therefore, more confidence. Are you liking the video so far? Before we get back, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and click on the notification bell to get notified of our new uploads. Now let's get right back to it. Number 6. Are you the kind of person who says I'm sorry all the time? While apologies can be powerful and important, being too polite or saying sorry all the time can actually hurt your confidence. Excessive apologizing can make you seem unsure of yourself as though you have no faith in your abilities or decisions. You shouldn't apologize for things that you know aren't your fault or for something that you don't feel sorry about. Doing so, you put the blame on yourself and lead others to think that you are at fault. Apologies should be given when they are called for, otherwise they lose their effectiveness and meaning. Number 7. Being a confident person isn't about knowing everything about everything. It's about knowing exactly what you want and then doing it, even if that means going against the advice of others. When someone is telling you what they think should happen or pressuring you into doing something they want instead of considering your needs, or worse, they try to control or manipulate you, your confidence will suffer for it. You cannot be confident if you don't know what you want or don't believe that your opinions matter. Confidence is built by expressing your desires in honest, empowering ways. This can only happen when you listen to yourself, trust yourself, and follow through on things you want in life. Number 8. You know what they say, you can't have it all. And that's true, you just can't. But here's the thing, you don't have to. You can be okay with what you have, and you don't have to lower your standards to get there. In fact, lowering your standards might make things more comfortable or convenient for you in the short term. But as time passes, you'll feel more confident about yourself and your life when you stick to your values and standards. You might think it's easier to be happy if you lower your standards and just accept whatever happens. But in reality, it will cause more problems than it solves. And once you start doing it, it becomes easier and easier to do it for others as well. Number 9. Relationships are everything. Your relationships with the people in your life are what make you who you are, and they can either help you to feel confident or make you feel like a total mess. If your friends family members, and co-workers are constantly criticizing or belittling you, it can be tough to feel good about yourself. But if these people are supportive of your goals and ambitions, it will be easier for you to do great things with your life. So, take a step back from your relationships with others, especially if your confidence has taken a hit as a result of being with these individuals. Consider whether or not your current relationships are healthy for both parties involved. If not, Think about how you can change them so that they become more positive for everyone involved. Number 10. When you're feeling down, it's easy to compare yourself to others. But what if that comparison is making you feel worse? You're not alone. We've all been there. It's easy to get caught up in your social media feed and start noticing that other people are reaching milestones faster than you. Maybe they have a nicer house, a better job, or they're happily married while you're struggling with dating. You feel jealous, insecure, and maybe even angry that these people have something you don't. But wait, is it really as bad as it seems? Comparing yourself to others is normal human behavior. We are wired to notice differences and make judgments. But if left unchecked, this habit can be destructive to your self-confidence. It can leave you feeling envious or resentful of the accomplishments of others. Try instead to focus on what sets you apart in a positive way, and remind yourself that everyone's path is different even if they look similar at first glance. Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching Mind State. Bad habits are a pain in the neck, but they can also be a sign of low self-confidence. While some of these habits may seem harmless, they can cause considerable damage if left unchecked for long enough. The trick is to recognize these pitfalls when they happen and then substitute a positive thought or behavior instead. With practice, 
you'll be able to identify your bad habits and stop them before they start. If you found these helpful and enjoyed watching our content, please click like and subscribe. We'll always provide excellent takes on anything and everything. And also, we'd love to know about your thoughts, so leave a comment below. See you next time!